<clears throat> Clear my throat a little bit. There we go. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're about to do some Absolver action. I think we're going to do some weird decks today. I think that's the goal. Do some odd, um, unorthodox decks that I don't usually do. And see how they work. Just to liven things up. Just to spice things up. I think that'll be fun. We'll do some deck building, some CTs. And it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day, guys. We're going to do this. It's going to be alright. It's going to be alright. <clears throat> So let's go into meditation. <laughs> Excuse me. I apologize for that. It's probably going to happen a couple more times until my throat is ready to go. I got to do some vocal warm-ups next time before I start the stream. All right, so what deck can we toss out? Like, What deck is garbage? I think it's this one. Yeah, this one's garbage. We're going to throw it out. And we're going to start from the beginning. We're going to... Hammer on this like we're a blacksmith in the forge. How about that? <clears throat> and I'm going to be a little unorthodox. Might go against my usual train of thought. I think I'm going to throw in a leg breaker because it has good chase potential. And I like it being an alternate that I can get to at any time. I think that'll be a good idea. And what about this one? I want something interesting. Something unique in the center here. Maybe not liver knee. What's the other knee? Where's bounce knee? Because I hardly ever use bounce knee. It's not a great move, but I want to see if we can make it work right there in the second slot. That's liver knee again. <laughs> can you even get to bounce knee? You should be able to. It's like every move. There's Bounce Knee. Yeah, we're going to throw Bounce Knee in there. That's 90 damage. What is the... Yeah, 6 and 1. That's not terrible. The startup speed is slow, but we can probably put a bigger hit right here. And get over to it. So I'm going to put Bounce Knee there. <clears throat> Do I want to open with a hook? No, that's too conventional. That's too... Uh, with the grain there. But starting with... Um, Can I start with? I can start with hook, but that's not what I want. I can start with Jarbash. That has decent advantage on hit. I think that would that would be all right. Both come from the left though, so maybe it's not the best idea. I think that one's left. Can I hit them in the right? And this one does. Maybe we'll go straight start up for uh, uppercut. Nah, that's, that doesn't work out very well. I don't think. Trip kick could be good, but again, again, starts from the wrong side, so let's... Let's think about this. Let's uh, enumerate on this particular... Maybe throw out, yeah, throw out the Calbot? Throw out Calbot into Bouncing? Nah, not enough. Maybe start off with the Drunk Stomp. That's two, that's two straights in a row. I don't know. Trip kick would be perfect if it came from this side. But it does not. And there is no hooks up on the top left stance. Mm. Again, we want a hook. We want a hook of some kind. Just go straight in the sidekick or may I lure it up from the very beginning. Startup is slow, but I'm ducking at the time, so maybe it should, might be fine. You can always go roll punch. Like I said, un unorthodox. We're, we're going for some un un unorthodox thinking for this deck. Let's see how it works. And then, let's see. We don't know where to go at that point. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I think I like Drunk Stomp. I like it in the center. It is unorthodox. And, and we'll throw out maybe... Hmm, what should be, maybe Trip Kick? It's fast. Trip Kick's good. Fast Punch? In there. It's not that fast, for one. There's better options than Fast Punch all over the place. Fast Back Fist, for one. If you want a fast attack. 
Or we can just do gut punch, because gut punch is the thing. Gut punch is the king of distance. Almost. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Now this needs to be some sort of sweep now. Low spin heel maybe? Alright, so I got my top left and top right. Oh, this one loops back into itself. Maybe I can switch these two. Can this one be trip kick? Can it not be? I guess not. No, I guess it can be. Interesting. Interesting. It can be wherever the hell I want it to be, which is great. Scissor kick, though. We can make it scissor kick. Scissor kicky. Do I have wobble low? That'd be fun. I don't think I have access to wobble low at that point. That's a front move, I believe. But that's not too bad. We can... We can figure something out here. Twist back kick, maybe? Or we can go underneath kick. That's That'll be nice and fast. So this one, yeah, this is, we're getting better. It's getting better. Although, again, it does end on the same side as bounce knee. Hmm. And we want to avoid that. Twist back kick and... And uh, slap kick do not end on that side, which is good. I could just go straight, full, full three, uh, three straights in a row, but we don't want to do that. Twist back kick. Twist back kick. Twist back kick. <laughs> I'm thinking twist back kick is the thing. That's that's the key. Although both of those are duckable, um, I'll make the bottom right one a. Maybe I'll make this one low spin heel, and then no ducking for you. And top right is an alternate uh, leg breaker from this side, so if they try to duck that, it's uh, pretty good. Got some windfall coverage there, but they both come from the right, which is it's all right. Yeah, so far it's not very uh, forsaken proof. This is a little bit when spin heel versus slap kick, but that's okay. That's all right. We don't need we don't need to be perfect. Perfect for perfect for people like uh, uh, Aaron and Newport. We. We like it sloppy. We like the struggle. We like the struggle of the fight. And then, what do I just throw liver knee up there as a startup? Nah. Something unorthodox. Something different. Something unique. Hmm. The efficacy of the move does not matter all that much. We'll throw in front kick here. Because we do need a guard break, and I always use jump out elbow in that slot. Let's try something different. Anything going to the bottom right yet? Nothing. Nothing's going bottom right. Can I just use cross punch? Is that a good starter? I don't even think. I don't think so. Mawashi. Mawashi starter. Mawashi's not a bad starter, I don't think. Dun, 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 dun. At least it ends in the bottom right, so I have a, I have a, a use for that spot. I like push double, I really do. I think it's a really cool looking move, but I don't think it's right for that spot. Spin back fist, however, might be good. This is mid, yeah? Yeah, it's a mid straight. I think. Thrust high, it's a high. Seems like it should be mid. It doesn't look like it goes for their face, but whatever. So I got two highs in a row. We'll have to fix that. With a nice low kick that goes to the bottom right. Yes. Bottom right. There we go. I like that. But what's the starter? What's the starter for bottom right? What do we got? What do we have here? We got... We can do chin palm. I do love me a chin palm. Chin palm. Got 
Got the music in me, baby. Dun, 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 dun. I do like Chin Palm quite a bit. Chin Palm into Uramawashi. So we got a... We have a vertical mid into a horizontal high. And where does it need to end? Right, left, right. I need top, left. There we go, it's pulmonary palm to get some more stamina dam on the way. And now I do have a couple that end in bottom right. It's gonna it's gonna be a very predictable move eventually because there's only two ways to get to it. Either after back fist or after chin palm. And let's see, after back fist is a horizontal low from the from the left. And this was a horizontal high from the left. So something, um, maybe something straight from the right would be a good ender. I don't want it high. I kind of want a mid there. Something mid that'll just, <laughs> no. Uh, something mid that will uh, mix that up nicely. Vertical mid. I do like jackhammer punch. Let's just throw that in there and see how it goes. My own notification just told me I was live. Thank you. Thank you, Twitch, for telling me I am live. I am live, yes. It's happening. All right, testing time. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this yet. It feels awfully slow. It's a very slow slow deck not not a lot of interrupts i have to really rely on my defensive ability i think and timing my attacks right for this deck unless i play cult or for or uh, forsaken and then i should be able to hit most of these attacks Hmm, is it this one that I don't like? Or is it the roll punch? Roll punch might be getting me. Maybe I want body blow. It's the same startup, but less advantage on hit, less range. I could just throw a curled uppercut, and if I'm gonna go slow, I might as well go slow in power, right? It's a little faster. But the other ones had the benefit of actually dodging attack and maybe getting some damage in, but curled uppercut is just gonna get. It's just gonna get destroyed, I think. It's just gonna get canceled out because of all the fast attacks people run. Kick, kick, it's all in the mind. There we go. Have some good ones, have some good punches. So, let me try canceling some of this. Let's, this is uh, this I think this is gonna be pretty good. Let's or pretty bad. Let's uh, let's go into the combat trials and figure it out Which one it is. Is it good? Is it bad? Am I just bad? I don't know. Am I salty? I don't know. I don't think I'm salty. Not yet Haven't even gotten to the match yet Mm-hmm Waiting for that there Dun, 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 dun. I 
Everybody dance now. Yeah, I don't really like any of the other intros, so no use to spend any crystals on those. And there's only so many uh, emote slots, and I think I have the ones I like currently. Let's go. Who is the who is let's going? Doctor Jupiter. Nice. The doctor is in. Finding a gold at the first off. That's this deck is going to get put through its paces, and as well as my patience, I'm sure. Because I, if I remember, yeah. Yep, I knew it. suck I suck too too much too much impatience All right, I gotta remember my this deck is slower it can't it can't trade blows as fast as that guy can Can't trade blows as fast as that guy can. I have to rely on the stun locking and mix-ups I have. His deck is a little faster than mine. Why, why were you attacking? Oh, he got- I, I avoided his attack, but he was still able to absorb. That's the- that's the curse of being Windfall. That's the curse of being- being Windfall right now. You get nothing for your- for your efforts. And I feel for cults too, they also get- That lasted, lasted, that lasted way too long. And he has parry strike too. Ah, stupid. This deck is alright. It's okay. I just could not beat his faster attacks. Could not beat his faster attacks. And he's cult, so the faster attacks are good for him. Because they don't give very much advantage after absorbs. Wow, that was weird. That was weird too. Oh, it's so annoying. Absorb like I gotta remember that's not a that's not a guaranteed hit if I use exhaust. It's alright. Getting getting my tail kicked by Dr. Jupiter. I dodged that. Come on, man. Come on, game.
Got him. I did dodge his attacks. But for some reason, the slow clap decided that windfall was too strong if it had any kind of opening. Any kind of uh, decent... That, that that opening he has is too big. His absorb whiff, he, like I have a slower attack, it should not absorb. His absorb should not be that long, especially with how easy it is. You should have to time it way better. Windfall, Windfall has this really strict timing, and I don't know why they decided to do that. He gets all these fast attacks, I can't keep up. I can't keep up with the fast attacks. That sucks. I should just sit there and block the entire time, but I'm way too dodge happy, I think. Too uh, windfall happy. And it's not, it's not giving me anything. I'm not getting anything from it because his attacks are so short. Windfall is basically neutralized because I don't get any guaranteed damage. So there's no point in doing anything except for blocking his attacks because he has no guard breaks. Plus he has that bullshit that he's sitting on. Again. That should not... Again, that he has way too forgiving of, a, uh, of an absorb window where he actually gets benefits from it when Windfall does not get a uh, decent window for that kind of stuff. It's, it's just showing that Windfall is just in a bad spot right now, basically. I wish that would work twice. He doesn't even he doesn't even need to care where my attacks come from. Hey Bowser Playground, how you doing, buddy? What's up? Welcome to the stream. Like windfall gets no guaranteed nothings. Cause he has such fast attacks, the windows are just Crap. Stop trying to attack, man. I, I'm just trying to recognize, recognize the fact that Absolver is broken and Slow Clap doesn't care. I tried to jump there. Why did he attack? My character's like, I have this I have this buffered input. Let's let's use it. No. <laughs> Don't use the buffered input. So I'm finding that this deck is not useful for guys who have really fast attacks. Because Windfall can't do shit against these fast attacks. You don't get a big enough uh, punish window because their fa attacks are so fast.
I tried to jump again. Why does he keep doing the uppercut when I'm trying to jump? I jumped over that. I jumped over that. I did. I jumped over his attacks. I jumped over Earthquake. Game decided no. No, you didn't. It's all right. It's all right. So this this deck is not good against fast atta fast decks, which is going to be mostly cults. Cults have fast decks because they can't get any punishes off of anything slower. <laughs> so they have a lot of fast openers, a lot of fast attacks. No, well, at least a decent cult will have a lot of fast openers because they they're they're locked into it. They're fighting. Their ability makes them do it. But uh, yeah, that sucks. That sucks, and when you're windfall and you're fighting somebody with all fast attacks, you get nothing. You get nothing from your voids. You can't get any get damage in there because windfall works on the inverse. If you dodge a fast attack, you get very little punish. If you dodge a slow attack, you get big punish. So if you're fighting somebody with only quick attacks, you're, you don't get any punishing. And it's, it's a dumb system. Dumb. Absolutely. Completely. 100% dumb <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense logically if I dodge a fast attack which means a, a attack that's really hard to actually avoid on time then I should get a bigger reward than if I dodge a slower attack and that's the way it should be hey so Omega how you doing and Hapo Hapo's inside it Hapo's in the chat how you doing Hapo Hapo Ace how you doing I'm trying to be more constructive with my salt today instead of like, I'm, I'm trying to, like, give, like, feedback of the game. I'm not trying to be like, this game's stupid. No, I'm trying to be like, yes, I think it's broken because win currently Windfall is broken. And, uh, there are various reasons why it's broken. Uh, I'm just trying, trying not to let the Salt Absorber get to me, Ace. I'm trying, I'm doing good other than that. I like the red scarf on this guy. Just finished most of your college work? Fantastic. Congratulations, buddy. Get congratulations. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And Hapo, you just came back from work. Nice. Time to enjoy, enjoy the rest of your day, hopefully. Can you stream but it's Saturday yep, yep don't have to work on Saturday nope. I got a 9 to 5 Monday through Friday job my friends Monday through Friday job okay my deck worked pretty against, well against Ikor here but that's because she had a lot of straights and I was able to get some punishes in with windfall and her deck isn't as fast yeah <laughs> I'm getting some weird tracking too. What was a twist parry? Oh, she has a twist parry? I don't think so. I think that was a normal parry. And stand kick, useless. I hate how it tracks like that. I think it's, I think it's, that's not fair. <laughs> got her with the, got her with that uppercut. Yeah, her deck is a lot slower, so I was able to get a nice punish in there. By when I avoided that, I got a guaranteed uppercut there. Which was pretty cool. Let's go. Oh, that was bad. I will chase you to the ends of the earth with, with my front kick. 
Leg breaker combo. I didn't think I got the void there, so that's why I didn't attack. I was like, oh, I got it? What? I was very surprised. So this, today, if you guys did, you guys probably weren't here for the beginning, I made a deck just for fun, just a more un unorthodox deck for me. It's a bit slower than my usual decks. It has trouble dealing with fast decks. It has very bad punishes for that kind of thing, especially for windfall. She, it looks like she just has parry and strike, Hapo. Oh, now that is twist parry. She, she got some both. She has both tw parry strike and uh, twist parry. But she's also forsaken. She really likes her uh, parries. That was useless. She didn't need to use that shockwave there. That was a silly, silly move that she did not need need to do. Doing the backup game. Wow. Parry strike. The cancer that is parry strike. Got her. Yes, I love how Leg Breaker chases like that. I really do. It's very satisfying. Very satisfying. Gotta get those back dodgers where it hurts. She got me, she got me fair and square, she beat me. Got a round off me. I died, I'm dodging that uh, uh, rollback fist too early. Yeah, I love how, I love how leg breaker tracks. I have it in the deck just to chase down people who dodge too much. That's what it's for, chasing the Dodgers. That's what Leg Breaker was meant to do. Stop them from moving. Back to Hutch? <laughs> Go ahead. I dare you. I dare you. Leg breaker will chase you down, alright? That's what's gonna happen. Dodge to the left or right, and it might not get you though. If you dodge to the left and right, you get them. Chase them Dodgers. Yeah, that's right, John. How you doing? Good morning, man. I saw you last night. And I love Jackhammer just for that. Just for that ability. See, she got me that time. She timed it correctly. She's playing the, a good keep away game now. Ooh. I hate the keep away game, honestly. That's what these moves are for right here. <laughs> keep away games. To punish the keep away. Keep away is not a kind of game I want to play. That's not why I'm playing this game. I'm playing to fight.
keep dodging that rollback fist too early. Yeah. <laughs> Dem jabs. Dem jabs. She got some jabs. She got some jabs. She likes to keep it keep away. Mm -mm. What what emote is that, Ace? That's I can't tell. What's that supposed to be? Is that like a person in a hood or something? They're, they're, uh, they want to fight me some more because they're getting my deck down. They're, they're getting the forsaken advantage. <laughs> what is that? Oh, she's she's bronze, so I don't I don't blame her for having a bad deck. She's kicking my ass right now, so it's not too terrible. Stop with your jabs. Is a clapping most based on Dark Souls 3 character? Oh shit. Oh damn, that's what those are the hands. Yeah, then that's the um Fallen Knight or Forsaken Knight or something. Okay, phone, stop stop with your your bullshit. She's playing she's playing the keep away game again. Wow. Fallen Knight. She got me. This is this is the problem with fighting Forsaken. They or fighting anybody way more more than two or three times. They start understanding your deck. Why are you saying sorry? Okay, they're getting cocky now. Forsaken Knight? The Forsaken Knight. Exactly. This Fallen Knight, yeah. Yes, it is full of Forsaken Knights. We, they can all parry. Reminds you of next, pa next patch. I'm waiting for that next patch. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, but I'm starting to get pretty burnt out. Like, this is the only second time I played this week. And the first time I played, I was like... I was like really angry at the game. It did not feel good. Now she's got it. She, she knows what she needs to do now. It's just dodge to the left. Jeez. The dodging. The dodging. She's relying on that dodge button so much. I, but I, for some reason I can't dodge her uh, rollback fist as, as consistently as I, I'd like. Maybe that's because of where it is in her deck or something. Or, or how she's using it. <laughs> Again? What the f What the hell is that? She's catching my dodges for some somehow with these moves that are just straight. It's so weird. Anyway, took her down. She has. She has parried. She's parried a couple of times. Um, but we're done. We're done now with Ikor. So this deck does have a lot of holes. A lot of holes, I think. But... Yeah, because I think bounce knee is not a good, not a good thing to have. It's too slow, maybe. And against this jab, current jab meta where you can just interrupt everything, it's a bit slow. But we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep pounding on it. Keep trying to find the uh, what's really wrong with it. Is that onion knight or a pumpkin head? <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to fight Ikor again. I, tw I left for this for specifically because I didn't want to anymore. Uh, no, <laughs> we're done. All right. If if I was programming this game, and I'm not, uh, but if I was, I would definitely have something 
that would record your previous opponents and not match you against them. I just, I just wouldn't. You wouldn't get, you wouldn't get matched against your previous opponent like immediately. Like, oh, your last opponent was Ikor. Okay, don't fight them again. Also, another character based on another character in Dark Souls Three. That's the Onion Knight, right? Uh, Sigurd is Sigurd in Dark Souls Three. Those are awesome emotes, by the way. Fantastic, fantastic job. Hmm. 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 Oh. Ho ho. Still closed. Still closed. I know that reference. I've played all three three games. I played Dark Souls three like five times in a row. I, I went to like New Game Plus six or something like that. I know, I know the stuffs. I know some stuffs about the Dark Souls. The Dark Soul of Man. So look at this deck. Look at this beautiful masterpiece of weirdness. So I have nothing ridiculously fast in any of my, my openers. Nothing below a 10, I don't think. It's a 15, 12, 12, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, I love Dark Souls 3. I, I, I have a playthrough of Dark Souls 1 uh, currently as a... I think I have it all highlighted. Maybe not. I might not have it all highlighted. I might have lost like the end. But yeah, I've played through Dark Souls 1 on the on the stream and I've played through some of Dark Souls 2. But I kind of kind of lost interest. <laughs> Dark Souls 2, while I love the game, it is not my favorite. It's not my favorite of them. After a certain point, I just kind of be like, meh, meh. See, Bounce Knee. What can I replace Bounce Knee with that would still... Give me something to believe in. Dwight Chagi, maybe? I like Dwight Chagi. It's a little faster than Bounce Knee, right? Yes, by one frame. One frame faster. This is two frames faster. Hmm, but, uh... Yeah, I think this has better stopping power, more advantage on guards. Maybe I can replace this with something a little quicker as well. Not straight punch. Uh, yeah, jar bash. I can jar bash it. That one frame could make all the difference. Exactly, Vanta DRC. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> I could. It can help me win any uh, trades that we have, right? It's like if we attack at the same time, my attack is one frame faster. I win, right? <clears throat> So it's starting to look less unorthodox, but <clears throat> that change might help me be a little faster, a little more competitive in my fights. Let's see. Hmm. 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 Dead. That means I can switch this out for something. <laughs> it goes twist parry strike all him, on him. I could go fast double. Oh, uh, nah. Backfall strike might be fun. Slab kick? No. I'm looking for something that comes from the other direction. Or maybe I can put something else here. Let's go with let's go with leg breaker. I mean low kick. Is this low kick? No. Yeah, this is low kick. Not leg breaker. Leg breaker's over here. It's the big one. That's the big one. <laughs> Just beat him up with. Yeah, it's a different timing. It's a different timing. So it's like, that's a fast one, and then, then you got the slower one. That's pr that's kind of cool. I think I scared away all the competition guys. Where where's all the NA players on Saturday mornings? And 
not, not digging this pulmonary palm either. It's a little too slow. I do like cleaver. It's a bit faster. Get more damage. I should go. Oh, there we go. We're throwing falcon punch in there. We're throwing falcon punch in there, just for just for giggles. The frame difference is is I think too small on leg breaker and underneath. Leg breaker and underneath. Cause why not spiral palm? Cause why not? <laughs> I can't even put spiral palm here. I don't think. Yeah, I can't. I can't even put it here. I'm throwing falcon punch. Cross punch would be good. Cross punch. Who loves cross punch? Everybody loves cross punch, right? Yeah. Pure karate moves. Cross punch OP. They give it to you in the very beginning too. You don't even have to learn it. It's, it's broken right now? What do you mean broken? I, don't, I haven't been caught up on the meta soon. Like uh, what moves are, are broken? A ridiculous frame advantage. All right, good. I need it. I need it. I need ridiculous frame advantage. At least, is it parry strike uh, um, <laughs> uh, bad or is it uh, like just kind of just really good? Is it wallop blow bad? Not if you parry it. That's true, Vanta. That is true. He's kicking my ass with his uh, simple combo there. He's kicking my ass. That was a useless use of shockwave in my opinion. He did not need to do that. Yeah, he didn't need to use, why do you use uh, shockwave twice? You can say that for everything, <laughs> that's true. Like, he kicked my ass there. But, uh... He's a useless Forsaken, though. For some reason, I can't I can't read his deck very well. I'm, I'm failing. And he has Shockwave, of course. He's using the pure meta. He must have watched some better player fight. He must have watched some better player fight, picked up some of the more uh, cheesy tactics. Play Forsaken, use Shockwave, all that good stuff. Use the jabs. Wow, that, that that front kick should have hit him. Got him. Oof, I would get bored really fast with Forsaken? Yeah. You use you use Shockwave for your second exactly Ace. He's learning all your high tech moves. You make your own meta. Hapo makes his own. Hapo makes makes his own meta. He creates new metas all the time. I duck that.
Damn. Only because nobody makes new ones? That's because people people find what works and they stop. There's no reason to evolve the meta once you found the epitome of, uh, of bullshit. I ducked too late. <laughs> unlock tech is always fun uh, fun to muck around with. Un unlock tech is stupid. <laughs> unlock tech is stupid. It's 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 uh, it's it's a bunch of of, of pretty of uh, hard to do stuff. I got to admit it's hard to do, but it's not. <laughs> it's so dumb. I wish there was a way just to just to punish it so hard because it looks so stupid. Why is my dodge not dodging? It's like it's like wave dashing. It's like wave dashing in the Smash Brothers. It's dumb. It looks stupid. I tried to parry that. I'm having a real hard time with this guy. He's, he knows my deck always comes from the left. I mean, from the right. He did, and he has a bunch of uh, interrupts. I only keep the unlock uh, from it because it allows for six faint options without... St what? Just faint my second hit? I can't. He has an interrupt. He has that jab. Uh, forsaken. Forsaken. There's certain things about this game that annoy me, and I think fainting is one of them, because there's no real drawback to doing it. I kind of wish there was... Hey, Eris is here. I, can't, I wish, uh, I wish there was more stamina cost on a faint. Fine. <laughs> Take that. Just, just, just kidding, you faint them. I'm telling you, Artos, I saw, I just saw you fainting that poor new player. I know. <laughs> I know. It's so useful. Hi, K2. How you doing, buddy? You do have too many right side attacks, though. I do. I absolutely do. I hate fighting Forsakens with a sword deck. I'm just proving my own point here. I'm just proving my own point that first of that fainting is uh, that if, the fact that you can do it back to back to back is so. Uh, Annoying.
No, he just likes his sword so much. Yeah, he died. He died a couple hits ago. He was already dead. I'm not talking like nerfing, fainting into the ground. Um, I'm talking about just a little bit. Make the stamina cost for fainting cost approximately what it costs to do the actual move. Right now, it's cheaper to, to the faint than the actual move. I kicked out his knee, exactly. I kicked it out. His knee died. Mm-hmm. Other than boss mode for second players who are nearly unfaintable. Yeah. Yeah. That's because for some reason Forsaken can parry like on a dime. So they can wait till the last second to do it. And but Windfall can't. <laughs> we can't wait till the last second to dodge. We're gonna get hit. Again. This is the same thing I was talking about. I don't want to fight the same guy. I want them to to exclude him from matchmaking. I don't care if it takes a little longer for me to find a match. Alright. You have a you, you have the three times fate versus Apoc, and I still only get like one round most of the times. Yeah, Apoc's good. Yep, I'm playing a non-optimal deck right now with lots of right side attacks. Non-optimal decks are really fun, and they keep the game fresh for me. All right, this is the one I'm using. Let's get rid of some of this crap, some of this chaff. We're tearing it all down again, boys. Tearing it all down. I like this here, though. I like this here. And no, it, may, it might give me a little bit of salt. You know, I, I can't. I'm not gonna lie. The game makes me salty as hell. If you guys were here on Tuesday morning, you would have saw that. Like, like, it was like a bad. It was bad. It was bad, guys. But I'm feeling better today, at least. Let's start with Jarbash. I like Jarbashes. I'm gonna put something. Where is it? That I don't, don't use. Hey, uh, Hapo, what is the Hapo and Kaiju? What is the optimal place to put uh, Twist Parry Strike? You love your Beyblade deck? It's a Beyblade. Back left? Like, do you put it in the front stance or do you put it as an alt? Can you put it in alt? I don't even know. Do, 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 do. You can put, you can put parry and strike on, on as an alt, but not parry strike, so. Starter, twist parry strike. Twisty, twisty. I'm doing it. I'm putting it there. Always, it's always so much fun experimenting with so many other moves outside the current meta moves. I agree. I've never used, I've never used, uh, that was weird. I've, I've never used twist parry strike. So we're going to go for it. I do want some good stuff in here. What do we, what do we put? Let's put spiral palm in the bottom right because spiral palm is preference for you if you want to parry left or right. That's true. You can put it here or here, right? Which way is this parrying? Just so, just for reference. If it's in the bottom left and going to the left, is that parrying from the left or parrying from the right? Your character's left or character's right? Parry's opposite side of the hit. So he's parrying on his left side, so the a right right side attacks. Nice. Twist parry has like 12 to 13 parry frames. Oh, so it, it yeah, it's, is that good or bad? That's a, quite a few actually. That's a, quite a few frames to parry. Gotta say. What do I put here then? Do I just start with liver knee? Right, <laughs> spiral bomb will mess up a forsaken. I eat you. Yeah, that's right, Vanta. I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm gonna destroy you. Oh, gotta get that flute swing in there. I love me some flute swing. And maybe instead of front kick, would you hammer kick? It's always opposite of your stance to start it. Okay. We're doing some weird shit. We're not even paying attention to stats or anything. We're just doing weird, weird stuff. We start with the spin elbow. Maybe we do. I like spin elbow. I started. I had to start that for a starter for a long time. Just parry it, Vanta. Yeah, exactly. Just parry it, man. Yeah, we're just gonna go like that <laughs> for the shits and the giggles, and then throw in a a trip kick. Nah, not trip kick. Something like trip kick. Maybe a side kick for. Even stupider stuff. 
You can't. Oh, you can't. You can't parry it, guys. We know his weakness. Everybody put spir sp <laughs> put spiral palm in your in your deck, and uh, Vanta will not be able to defeat you. You'll be undefeatable. Let's start with cross punch. Cross punch. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's not fast enough. We'll start with trip kick. Trip kick's all right. So this is a left starter, right starter, left starter, right, left and the right. Yeah, I think that, that that'll work for now. You will eventually. Havel the rock. Can't parry the gravity. Too strong. That's true. That's true. You can't parry gravity. Gravity is just too strong, man. Who cares about stats? It's all about the finesse. Yeah, finesse. You mean the stat finesse? We're gonna throw a cleaver blow in there. We're gonna pure chad this up. We're gonna chad this. We all believe in you, Vanta. You can parry if you want to. What's this? Aeris Dragon Song sent me a link. Hold on, fellas. I gotta. Can't be rude. Give this crazy thing a try. He sent me a link to his lovely deck, I guess, and I will try that as soon as I'm done with this deck, Eris. Uh, did you see that guy pop into existence over there? He's a ghost, I tell you. So he goes to the top right. And sidekick in the jar bash, I think that's okay. <laughs> Just have a moments with Spiral Palm where I know I should parry, but I don't. I get damn. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, oh and you don't? Oh, you, you should believe in him. Why did you take away his hope? Top, bottom left, or bot top left? Either one. Hmm, I think we need another. Uh, we need the wobble. We need the wobble to and fro. DTA ghost. Ghost instilling. Yep, yep, that ghost instilling. He's just popping in, popping out. Being creepy. Check in to make sure. It's like, you okay, bro? You okay? We're getting some pretty hefty moves up in here. So after the parry, we're gonna do something... Whirlwindy. Keep spinning like that Beyblade. Nah, let's not do that. Because that comes from the wrong direction. No spin heal, maybe? I just need the update already. Just need to send, spend these... I know, right? They're burning a hole in my pocket. Oh yeah, parry and strike delete. How you doing, best pleb? How you doing? Delete any noobs lately, pleb? Backfist. Take my damage. And this guy would need to end in bottom right. Speaking of update, I should be saving up my rip disc for it. I only get one so far. You should save. Save. Save often. Handstand kick it just because. Nah. What's after? What's the next move? The bottom right is fast elbow. No. No handstand kick. That would not help me. Mill punch. Yeah. Let's go mill punch. I don't know. This these, this deck is horrible. I'm gonna I'm gonna feel so bad when this deck is not doing me any favors. Have the same problem my previous deck did, did where it's too slow and then uh, any any call with a good uh, fast deck is gonna kick my ass Falcon punch you need you need a Falcon punch in there all right all right we'll throw a Falcon punch in there if I'm gonna have a, a useless move I might as well make it a stylish useless move Lots of left. Lots of left. There's a whole left chain there. Is it this one? No. It's in here somewhere. I saw it. It's in there somewhere, damn it. Is it is this one? There we go. All lefts. All lefts here. 
You look majestic with thy falcon punch. Exactly. That's the point of using falcon punch. God look the majestic as heck. There we go. Throw a right in there. This is easily duck. Are you okay, Sillin? You trying to get somewhere, buddy? Well, Sillin decided to <laughs> get the hell out. He ran the fuck away. Sillin, stop it! <laughs> You're creeping me out, man. <laughs> He's creep. He's learned instant transmission. Sillin! <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> He's some sort of ghost. Sillin, where'd you go? Where did he go? There he is. Found you. That looks, that looks like tired of being beat up. Yeah, he's like, I'm done with this shit. I'm gonna... Instant transmission at the out of here. And then I pulled him back in by hitting the practice button. Alright, we're gonna take this into the actual world and we're gonna get our ass kicked. And I'm gonna try not to get too upset about that because I know what I'm doing. I know this deck is probably not optimal in any way, shape, or form. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna try. And that's all you can really do. Bum 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 End of time This this playlist is full of non copyright music and it has some weird weird stuff in it. It's all very much kind of a techno y remix type of stuff. Look at uh, bow down before all the crystals I have. <laughs> I have 114 crystals and only getting better. Only getting more. I'll be ready for the update, um, especially when they decide to go with a different currency for any of the new stuff. Of course, of course they will. Just to screw over all of us who have all this stuff saved up. And I, I think I got all the uh, all the clothes I actually want. Too. I don't think I don't think there's any other piece of, of of clothing that I want or need. I think I got it all, except for the mask. Except for the high ranked masks, I got everything I need. All right, fight the skillless one. E Baron Moore. He's Baron Moore. I prefer Drew Baron Moore. She's a much better actress. I don't know what what's a good opener here. All right, we got a we got a stagger boy. He's gonna abuse that. Ooh, I ducked the wrong time. Ha oh. ha. Wow, that should not have worked against me, but it did. Fuck it. I was blocking there. I must have uh, let go or something. In my mind, I was blocking, but my, maybe my finger decided decided against it. It's like, nah, we don't want to block. We can watch the recap. I got that awesome overlay for that particular reason, so I know what the hell I'm doing. That was useless. Parry strike so far has been useless, except for there. Wow, that was useless as well. It's completely useless against this guy. I'm like fighting a useless battle here with useless moves. What 
What the hell? What the hell? I'm having. I'm getting. Man. You got. Oh, predict? I don't do that shit. I don't predict anything. I just get hit in the face. Predicting is for is for people who think. Thinking is for noobs. Ah, there's. Oh, that stupid stagger get out of jail free card. Stagger get out of jail. No, 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 no. Stagger get out of jail free card is so bullshit. <laughs> It's the only thing they have going for him, though, so I can't really be too mad about it. My moves are too slow. I can't do any interrupts at all. And this, uh, and this dagger guy is built for interrupts. That's all he has. <laughs> interrupts and big hits on his alternates. Oh, he win quitted too. <laughs> He's classy, that guy. Classy as hell. Don't worry, I've done it before too. I've, I've win quit before. It's no big deal. No big deal. It just marks you as being a coward. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud to admit I am a coward. I will win quit. Especially if it's a very difficult opponent. Who I beat multiple times. I mean, who beat me multiple times. Win quitter as a bronze? I know he should be. He should be happy. He beat me. I'm gold. He should be like, yes, I'm gonna push this. I can go for another round. But we don't know why he had to quit. Maybe he had to do just the one round. He maybe only had time for one more round. He had to do something else. I didn't want to judge him too harshly, but I am secretly. I talk a good game, but inside I'm like, fuck that guy. I win quit Smurfs. Maybe he was a Smurf. Maybe he thought. Maybe he thought I wasn't worth his time. You win quit for Smurfs? I just quit Smurfs. I don't need your Smurfing. If you you can, you, there's no reason to Smurf. There's really no reason to Smurf except for being a troll. I'm picking on the lower level guys. Oh, that's probably why Sillin is mad because he keeps getting smacked in the face and frozen there in time forever. Uh, not Dr. Jupiter again. Man. Alright, I'll fight Dr. Jupiter. He has good style, at least. I dodged that attack, I'm pretty sure about it. I dodged that attack. Oof, that da Fal Falcon Punch landed? Exactly. Falcon Punch feels good when it lands. This is the guy I have trouble with because he has just a bunch of fast attacks and interrupts. Oh, not enough. Keep switching my stance. It keeps switching my stance out of the parry strike when I want to use it. <laughs> parry and strike? No, it's not parry and strike. It's twist parry strike, buddy. 
No one expects the Falcon Punch. Yeah, he, he's too fast. I swear I'm dodging that in time. I need to start fainting that second attack, I think. Damn. Have you tried using a pushback kick after a twist parry strike? Is this the best option after it anyway? Really? Oh, he's trying to go for the- he's going for broke. He has parry and strike. I can't see, man. He's just being a dick. Wow, that was bullshit. Uh, parrying meme? Mm, looks like he's using a lot of mid and low attacks. Yeah, he is. He's using a lot of fast mid and low attacks. And I, I can't interrupt him and I can't reliably uh, windfall dodge because windfall is broken. Uh, so it doesn't really matter how I'm fighting this guy. Bullshit. Stop switching my stance, buddy. I dodged that. Come on. Damn it. I had to keep... I had, my stamina was too low to actually absorb all of his attacks. And my attacks are too slow to, to actually reliably hit him. Because he has faster attacks. I'm having trouble. Oh, come on. You did not read that. Shut up. <laughs> Cults OP, I tell ya. Cult pair cult spam deck. So stupid. Or dear recommendations of a cult nerf? You think cult needs nerfed again? Fucking cult. Fucking cult sucks. Cult suck. He had no stamina, but he was able to do it anyway. See, I dodged his attack and I got nothing for it, but he can absorb and just wail on me all day. Windfall broken. Windfall broken. Yeah, buff Forsaken. Pleb is right. What are y'all talking about? Forsaken's- it's Forsaken that needs a buff. Okay. 
This is bullshit. This I feel like this whole fight is just bullshit right there. Cause I couldn't do anything, man. I can't do anything. I feel like this. For one, I think it's my deck. You know, this guy's a, a good player. He's playing to the called strings. I think it's my deck by itself that is having problems keeping up with his fast, fast attacks. And the fact that Windfall does not get any fucking, doesn't get any punish on dodging some fast attacks. I get nothing out of it. I can dodge his quick attacks all day, but I still get no punish. And it feels bad, man. It feels really bad. Uh, yeah, just it just feels, it feels really bad to play Windfall against somebody who has a bunch of fast attacks because you can't use your ability because you get nothing from it. It's sad. Fixing the issues Windfall has in the downfall update? I hope so. Hey, 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 Fit Temp, um, FL Temp, how you doing? And then I saw Gold Arm sneak in here and Naristo. Hey guys, how you guys? Welcome to the stream. I got a couple more uh, combat trials in, in me and then we're gonna... And since I can't use Windfall right now against any of the cults, I'm gonna switch to cult. We're gonna, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see how badly this is for, for shits and giggles. We're gonna do some cult stuff. We're gonna do some cult stuff for some giggles. And my my controller keeps disconnecting. Silly controller. It, it's not battery powered either. It's plugged in. I keep playing with the cord, I think, or knocking it. But uh, yes, I think windfall it works how it, it's working backwards than how it should. If you dodge a very fast attack, you should get a bigger punish than if you dodge a slower attack. That that's just maybe that's just me. <laughs> And I wish it was uh, it was more uh, the window for dodging was a little more forgiving, and I wish the startup frames were a little faster, because I'd like to be able to dodge at the last second, but it sometimes feels like I'm not able to. Um, that could just be a reflex thing. That could just be me. Yeah, but I want to. I don't want to nerf cult too too badly because right now they aren't they aren't a great place. They they're very limited in move wise and stuff. But if you use them correctly, it's 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 a startup issue. You think you think so? The fact that windfall just takes it takes too long to go. Yeah, you can't do it as fast as parry. Even though all of them say they have three frame startup, it does it does not feel that way. It feels like windfall can't do it last second dodges like it should be able to. And I think I think Forsaken uh, is parry window is too long. I think they should nerf that. They should really have to do um, strategic, like on the ball parries. Go Forsaken, nah. Because uh, Forsaken is usually backwards in Windfall, so when I, I try to dodge something the wrong direction and get fucked up. <laughs> wow. My deck is not for se uh, not good enough for cult, I don't think. It's too it's too slow. She kicked my ass. The connection was a little weird, but she uh, legitimately kicked my ass. Because I think, like I said, I think my de deck is too slow for a good cult deck. A good cult deck needs to have fast openers in order to maximize any punishment punishes they can get. Oh, her sword deck is all fucking, is all fucking double hits. The Absolver Organization, how you doing, man? It's been a little while. It's been a little while since you stopped by. Windfall would have been great now, though. Yeah, exactly. I would have destroyed her. First thing.
Wow, I'm like failing here. What the hell? My all everything was like delayed. Everything was like delayed. Like everything got buffered up, so it would come out like like a whole like three seconds after it was should have. I nailed her! That's a weird thing to say. I shouldn't say that. Oh, come on! <laughs> she had me! I had her! She had me there and she ran away. She could have easily defeated me, but she decided that running away and silencing was more important. This is obviously a smurf, you think so? I don't think so. Yeah, all they're doing is uh, looping that. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Oh, come on, lady. <laughs> Clip that shit. Clip that shit. Twist, parry, strike, win. Mmm, yes. Mmm. New players don't know how to do that. Also, they are intentionally not gold linking. Dude, I got him with- I killed him with parry- parry strike. They- they quit. <laughs> I got him with twist parry- twist parry, baby. That's funny. Got him. That's gonna be a clip. It makes you happy that twist parry killed them. It was awesome. It- not only did twist parry kill them, I parried their charge attack that they were trying to cheese out the win with. It was so good. So good. All right. And that was awesome. That made that made Artos happy. I think we're going to extend the uh, extend the Absolver session to 11, I think. So another half an hour, I think. A couple more good combat trials. That was some cult stuff. Let's go Forsaken. Let's do it. Let's try to parry. Let's try to let's try to parry uh, the parriers. Let's try to beat cancer. Let's try to beat cancer with cancer. It makes me happy that Twist Perry got him too. It felt good. It felt good. I'm gonna make a clip of that. If no one else makes a clip of that, I'm gonna make a clip of that. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good clip. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Look at all these stuff I look at all this stuff I got. I'm sure there's people out there with like 500 rift rift coins or something like ridiculous at this point. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. If I'm parrying, I need to have the van braces to parry correctly. Forsaken. I need a good scaling Forsaken sword. We'll use the Rizrin sword. Because I never use my shards anyway. Uh, I said we're going to extend it, and I said we're going to do some good map. Play together. No, last time I played you were Absolver Organization, our connection was awful, man. Our connection is not good, Absolver Organization. It was very bad. <laughs> I have I nearly have nothing because I used them at the start of the fashion of last fashion patch. Nothing being like 300, 200. You need to have all times in six Wow. 
Toddy, oh shit. Toddy to Hottie. This is gonna be a... Hotty too hotty. What? No, I'm not trying to. I was just trying to switch. Uh, no problem, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I would fight you, but like our connection is always not good. Not good, man. Style on him a little bit. It's Toddy. He's getting me with his... Toddy too hotty is a way is a great opponent to find towards the end of the end of the absolved portion because he's great and his fights are always fun. Oh, he tried to do unlock tech to me. How dare you insult me with your unlock tech, man. Nope. No, the stamina bug. The stamina bug got me. My stamina was not coming back for a second there until I hit block. Until I blocked one of his attacks. That's okay. That's okay. Ta I think Toddy had that round either way. He's he knows it. Come on, that's from the right, right? That that moves from the right. I should be able to parry that. Dun, 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 dun. I don't have my thumbs up. <laughs> I can only style on him. Good. That felt good. Good job, buddy. Don't hurt me, Toddy. At that point, I think Perry should not have worked. Oh, 
Oh, he got me. It's one of those deceptive moves, though. Dry brush has a lot of uh, 14 frames. Yeah. No, I think I think it's 14. Yeah, I think Italian Goat is correct. I can look at my deck. It is from the right. I must have just missed time to parry the time. Got him. The goat is here. Goat and Bowser playing together. They know each other. That's, that's all I'm saying. They know who each other are. Yeah, Forsaken is really forgiving. Yeah, Forsaken is very, very forgiving. Like, there are certain- there's things there I just parried that I should not have been able to parry. But I did. So. I think that's a it's a problem. Plank it. Somebody should tell Toddy he has a, a lot of right-sided moves. Someone should tell him that. Zanadros, how you doing, man? Help what? What do you need help with? What do you think is harder, cult or stagger? I think stagger is probably the one with the highest learning curves, in my opinion. He got me. He fainted me out. He got me with that jab. Stagger is call is somewhat more forgiving. It is very. I think call is probably the easiest, like, the easiest one to learn. You need water. Help. You need water. I can't give you any water, man, because of all the salt. Is it all the salt, man? I'm trying not to be salty. I, I would say that I'm just like the least salty I've been today. He's st he's he's learning he's learning this the Forsaken's weakness. Hmm <laughs> Fainting, fainting like crazy. Nothing is guaranteed. Everything's permitted. What? No, that's that's assassin tree. Never mind. It's like not even the right motto, but it's not a <laughs> note to self. Twist parry strike is not a good uh, um. I'm good. How are you, Zenadros? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I should look at. I'm looking at chat at what you wrote, and I should be looking at the camera. <laughs> How are you? How are you guys doing? Guarantees are not the focus of stagger and windfall. Guarantees. 
Windfall should have have a focus. It's it's more about frame advantage to guarantee the crushing pump. I need the guarantees. Dwight Chaggy, Dwight Chaggy's always good. Oh, Toddy's left me. Not guarantee. Make them uninterruptible. I mean, I think. If anything should have guaranteed damage, it should be Windfall, because it's the hardest. But if they want to try to get it, make the stamina thing work, <laughs> they gotta tweak it some more. They really do. Because right now, Forsaken is just so easy. You get the you get all that guaranteed damage. Oi 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 oi. Toddy says oi 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 good games, man. And I appreciate that. The slowdown effect isn't even guaranteed. No, it's not. Like you, if you, the window for windfall like dodging is is very small. It was not very small, but smaller. I think they should. If you can, if you can dodge multiple times, that'd be great. Like I would, I would, I would be happy if they took away, if they, if they took away the, uh, the, the, the some guaranteed damage and gave us the ability to dodge more. I don't like fighting this guy. All right, here he goes. He's going to do it again. What? Why did I faint that? I wanted to actually hit him with it. What is going on? No, I wanted to actually hit him with stuff. Not not do the the, the parry strike. <laughs> Get him! Get him! Or decrease efficiency of enemy blocks. And Artos help three hours of sleep. You only have three hours of sleep, buddy. Why? Why did you do such things to yourself? Like how Stagger can run around with infinite stamina, make Windfall suck more in stamina per judge? Yeah. Three hours of sleep? He's not good, man. You gotta sleep more. And decrease efficiency of enemy, enemy blocks. He's mixing it up pretty well, though, with these charge attacks. I parried his parry, parry strike. I'm out of stamina. I parried his parry strike. Vengeance is mine. Did never say I'm getting my first. You're, you're in your first tournament today, Italian. Congratulations. This guy just loves cha charge moves, and he's doing pretty good, good job of fainting them too. Like I would, I wouldn't say he's bad. I wouldn't say Black After is bad. You know, he has an he has an annoying because insomnia. Oh man, I'm sorry. He's destroying now. Yeah, he's destroying me now because of that uh, darn parry strike he has there. Yes, sweep, uh, sweep league. Oh, the sweep league. Yes, I remember they started that up. Frowning is hosting. I parried that. What is going on? I'm having the same problems I'm having before where I might just not... Uh, that was bad. That was bad of me, but nothing's happening when I hit the buttons. I feel that should have made it. That should have made it too.
He deserved that. He deserved that win. He beat me. You seemed a little edgy. No offense. This game can make anybody can make anybody edgy. But wasn't last stream? Weren't you playing uh, Divinity Original Sin Two? Gotcha. Oh, he oh he's a one and done guy. I forgot. He, oh yeah, he's a black after as a one and done type of fella. Dude, so it's not just me that has issues with button presses just not coming out. <laughs> it, I don't know what's going on. It's just, it's just sometimes I feel like it ignores my input, or it doesn't, or it buffers it, and it comes out like way, a couple frames way later. <laughs> input delay could be an input delay. It's def or a latency type of thing, or any any number of things could be contributing to it. I couldn't tell you exactly what was what was doing it. Facts. Facts. The Red Hat 101. <laughs> that shit is annoying. It is, especially when you're in a very heated, heated fight. Last time you were in his stream. I, I can understand by people being, uh, uh, I can understand people pe getting, getting real salty about Absolver because I get salty about Absolver. I get salty about a lot of games recently. I think I'm just too, too high strung. Not clutching too much on block can help with the delays. I gotta clutch on block because that's the only thing saving me from these fast attacks. I gotta clutch on it. I gotta clutch. I gotta hold it. But you're right, Apple. There is. I've noticed definitely there during the animation for putting up and slowing down guard, it makes everything slower. That's part of the reason why I have problems with windfall because windfall, it, the unblocking it takes a lot of a lot of time away from the windfall dodge. Aloysius. Aloysius? Aloysius. His name is Aloysius, guys. XB Aladocious is next. Spin! He got me with that. Oh, he's playing. He's playing that game. Okay. Oh, he's playing this game. I hate this game. The keep away game? No, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Where's my move? There it is. Wow, I'm just getting destroyed by him. I'm this guy being... He got me. He fainted me. He fainted me good. When you play like this, when you when they back up and they just they just block and uh, use longer reaching moves, yeah, it's it's frustrating. But oh, that should have hit him. Disappointed. Just gotta be more patient, I suppose. In the back dodge, two shots, dodge back, or yeah, yes, they are really, they really are. But uh, I know a guy who's really, really, really good at it. It's uh, Valindian. Valindian knows about the back dodge spacing game he has going on. He, he's really powerful for him. to him. <laughs> he, he, he absorbed that spiral palm. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. You don't absorb the spiral palm. You dodge out of the way of it. 
because your stamina is gone after a good spiral bomb. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, big boy. Oh, shit. Shit. Hey, people who back dodge after the first hit landed. Yeah, he's, it's really annoying. Reaper main? What? He's getting the faint on now. He's he's going hardcore. Got him. <laughs> just use just use Jarbash and switch back to, to the stance of Jarbash and repeat because he keeps dodging back. Yeah, Jarbash is really good at he, uh, at seeking. <laughs> he wants to go again. He's. <laughs> Do you think he's mad? My combo, my honor. Come here, boy. He got me, he got me, fair and square. All right. Oh, it's way too slow. He's got me this round. Oh, I thought he was going to do something. Else, he got me. He got me. <laughs> my water, my salty saltiness. Is that here gonna play? He is doubling down on the. This is why I want fainting to be less of a thing. Because that's all he's doing. Now. Alright, dude. Oh, come on. Shockwave bullshit. All right. He, if for some reason his uh, his leg his uh, leg breaker what, his low sleep was faster than Jarbash, even though he he shouldn't be it shouldn't be. Don't do that. Don't parry stuff when you don't want to parry stuff. Parry strike ending, baby. Parry strike. I mean, twist parry strike ending. I can't say parry strike ending because parry strike is cancer, and we didn't we didn't use that. It's not even cancer. It's a it's a blight. It's a blight on this game. Parry strike is. Ooh, that's bad. 
Bad read by me. I'm getting bad reads. Yeah, I'm getting really bad reads right here. Like, I'm getting my ass kicked in. Parry me and meme isn't even good. It's just more annoying. It's good, at, you know, for taking people off, and that's part of the part of the game. No, nope, this guy won and he left. He's like, no, I beat you. Yeah, he was salty. He was salty about that first match. I could tell. If you were a spice, you would be salt. Come on, Sinatra. I'm not that salty, all the time. The game annoys me for sure, but you know, I'm not like chomping at the bit for salt. 